Hello and welcome to DTLT Today. I'm Andy Rush, and once again, I'm alone on the cuddle couch. But today's show is a little bit different anyway. Uh, what we did previously today is record a Google Hangout. Um, Zach Dowell from Folsom Lakes College in California is hosting the Innovation and Educational Technology Unconference. Um, so some uh, local attendees out there, plus Todd Conaway and Mikhail Gershevitz, all of us got together in a Google Drive-By Hangout, and we talked a little bit about technology and personal networks, um, some experimental stuff. Um, I did some editing because some of the audio didn't come through in quite the way that we wanted it. So um, what you get is kind of what's there. And you'll get the basic flavor of, of what we discussed uh, about technology. So it's mostly experimental. We, we did kind of use the Google Hangouts. And uh, we'll kind of just see how it goes. So we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We got Nicole and da 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 da. This is our third annual. Uh, hey, look at that. We uh, we get together twice a year, once at Folsom, our campus, and one at our sister campus, uh, Sacramento City College, too, with um, innovative educator folks that are interested in technology and teaching and learning, and we talk in a freestyle way about all kinds of stuff. And so, oh, cool. um, why don't you? Can you left to right introduce yourselves? And left to right for me is Andy. Can we start with you, and then go to Mikhail, and then to Todd? Tell us who you are and where you're where you're calling in from, and and what you do, where you do, what you do. So first of all, I'll ask. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. I'm Andy Rush. I am the new media, new media specialist at the University of Mary Washington, and I'm simply here today to be an interloper, to watch this little happening, and record it for posterity. Nice. Thank you. Welcome, Andy. Thanks. Well. I'm uh, Mikhail Gershovich. I'm the director of the Schwartz Communication Institute of Vermont College in New York. And uh, I run a uh, academic service unit uh, slash faculty program slash research technology shop. And uh, I am also here. I actually did really see you on an occasion. occasion. Um, happy to have you. Nice. We're getting a little bit of. We got a little bit of weirdness. We heard most of that. You're yeah, awesome. Yeah. Is that what you said? <laughs> You're the most awesome guy in the world. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And how about Todd? Todd? I have. Yep. You're up. Okay. I'm Todd okay, Conway. I uh, am an instructional designer of a small school in the middle of Arizona. Nice. Welcome. Um, for the benefit of the people in the room, all these people, uh, all the people that you see up here, are people that are, are what I consider my network and, and in my network, and we. Um, we know each other from various online experiences, um, chief among them the DS-106 class that University of Mary Washington ran in the spring of last year, run by Jim Groom. But then, um, so I've actually met Mikhail, but uh, in, in person, face to face, but the other two folks I haven't yet, but we will soon, right? Are you coming to NV12, Todd, maybe? I don't think I've been in the state of Arizona for many years to come. Okay, what if I pick you up and we drive up? <laughs> So I'm going to be like, like, like this. <laughs> so what I ask these folks, um, I, I give them a, a very basic kind of a prompt, and the idea being that, uh, and, and it kind of ties into what we're talking about with Jason, but the idea that, that the kind of connections are interesting things that can happen when you, um, when you kind of expand your reach, when you, when you go out into the open, when you um, engage networks that are outside of the silo of your class, when you make projects available to the world. And so... Um, so I wonder uh, if the folks on the on the other end of the hangout, um, do you have any examples of, of powerful uh, things that? Yeah, jump in, Todd. I, I, I do. I, I, I got a whole presentation, presentation that I can do in like four minutes. Do it. I'm re you ready. I mean, I planned ahead. I, plan I took I notes and everything. Nice. And so I'm, I'm going to paste them all in the all chat, chat, and I'm just going to go through them. them. Uh, right. So here so we go. Here we go. Right. And I'm going to call this dis discovery by accident, accident in a scheduled world. So um, I've been a part of this cyber salon down in Phoenix for a couple of years. And it's a group of educators that do exactly what you people are doing in that room. They sit 
at tables with laptops, but they usually meet in a bar. Um, but they do it once a month, and they do it religiously. And I was so impressed by the amount of effort that people were putting into this little group that I started one up here. And I've been doing mine up here for about a year. And uh, so here's what it is. It's, there's no real formal agenda. Um, there's a personal investment because it's time out of your life and you're going to learn things relevant to your space. It's off campus, so it doesn't have these weird attachments that uh, classrooms seem to engender. Uh, there's a high value on social learning, so not only do people learn how to use a tool, but they learn who other human beings are. Uh, everybody contributes. Uh, that's you know less or more. There's no hierarchy, and it's very playful. It has, it has all of the great qualities, qualities that I would I kind of want to see in a classroom. classroom. So, so um, there's the there's cyber salons, the and then and more then recently I've discovered these, these digital, digital events. events. And Andy, Andy Rush, Rush uh, over here is um, part of the DTLT Today program, which is unbelievable. And they, they, every day they bring in uh, people from the outside. Uh, and share ideas on this thing called the internet. And um, I have been privy to two unbelievably random events involving uh, uh, the fellow there talking to you guys, and um, Zach Dowell, sorry, and um, McKaylig here, and a guy named Brian uh, Alexander, where just out of the blue, I learned amazing, amazing things, things. Um, um, and listen to really smart people say great things. Um, and that was in this bus environment. But open courses uh, have some of those uh, qualities. Skype certainly, if you have a Skype connection, can be you know you're having your coffee and, and you see somebody there and you can ask them a question. Um, Zach's idea about this drive-by hangout is. Um, <laughs> just perfect, you know. It's it's this random event where you can come and hear ideas and, and hear. Um, I guess, unfortunately, in your case, people like me yapping at them for about four minutes, and so that's what I got. Wow, that's great. Thank you. That we appreciate that. See, you have an appreciative audience. That's gonna clap. <laughs> Mikhail, I wonder what are your experiences. And uh, I, I know um, that's a broad question. But what comes to your mind when you think about the idea of uh, networks like our network that we have um, in relation to the classroom or in relation to your work or give me thoughts? I know you do. Well, I, uh, well, I, uh, I started messing started around, messing with, around with, uh, uh, with social networking, social networking. Um, maybe, I don't know, three years ago, three years ago I was ago, bringing that stuff into my work. work. And I, I started I, I meeting people like, like, uh, like like, like Zach and uh, uh, virtual, uh, virtual pod and uh, the whole DTL teacher. And what I find is really enriching my, uh, my, uh, my understanding of the and, 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 and I just find the, 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 the ability to the connect with other people and share ideas and exchange ideas. It's uh, been hugely influential in the work that I do in terms of faculty development and curriculum. Because I feel like I'm learning. Uh, in parallel with all the other any stuff I'm doing, learning from people uh, who share my interests, who um, want to play around with technology. Uh, this is something that, like, for example, today I just I, I saw this that and Todd and Zach were talking about, and I clicked the button, and you are. And, and, and now I'm going to hear what you have to say. I'm learning from you guys. And so, and so I, I, I find I, 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 this, you know, these networks, networks are usually useful in discussion. Although it's a little bit of time for a little bit of, bit of, of uh, get, get people around me to uh, understand, understand this, this is not just a trivial diversion, or rather something that can produce it. And slowly, the information around me is trying to kind of get that. But there's something about this kind of serendipitous connection and just sort of Random exchange of ideas that is tremendously powerful and very, very useful. Let me uh, let me ask you one thing, um, and I'm going to ask you a follow-up question, and I'm going to ask you to also crowd the mic when you um, when you respond, if, even if that means you have to do this goofy thing like that. Um, uh, yeah, like that. Perfect. We want to see your eyebrows. So you you mentioned 
you mentioned the idea that um, sort of getting people to understand that these kinds of networks aren't aren't solely a diversion, that they can be valuable, et cetera. What do you think of the statement, the following statement that I'm about to make, that if you have to ask, you'll never know? That is, um, do you think that in order for faculty, for administrators, for whoever, to understand the power of a network like this and the ability to draw on experts from around the world, et cetera, um, do, you, do you think that the only way to, to know that is to do that? Uh, well, I think that's where it starts, right? I mean, I, I think connecting in this way is, uh, is useful for folks to understand the potential. Uh, but sometimes uh, imagination isn't enough, and you have to kind of help people to really get it. Um, I do think, though, that uh, if I were to bring people who are skeptical of building this next to me, take part in this conversation, I think that they would be uh, compelled to, 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 to figure some stuff out. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm yeah, doing it as easy as Good. Andy, do you have any thoughts on, on any of that? <laughs> I know you're just a recorder. Well, here's what I'm trying to do. Monitor everything with the recording, <laughs> hear all the brilliant things that you're saying, and then have some input. What I can say is, um, and I'm, I'm not getting more people are freaked out with the echo stuff than, than others are. Um, and, and before I go forward, is, can you mute your microphone, Zach? And I just want to test something real quick to see if this. Yes. Done. Perfect. Kyle. All right, I'm going to turn my mic on and ask you a follow-up question as well. So then do you bristle at the notion, the old school notion, that these relationships, these on re online relationships you mentioned we've never met in person, do you bristle at the notion that these relationships aren't real or are somehow lesser or are they more or do you have a, a take on that? I, I, I'll go. Uh, you know, I, I feel like this is just as good as... I, these have resulted in face-to-face -face meetings. I never knew Jim Groom until he went to a little town in Arizona, and I went to some guy's house and sat in a living room with the guy. You know, um, and I have no doubt that at some point in time I'm going to meet these other two guys face to face in this thing, and maybe you guys and Zach. I have no clue, but it's it, what we're doing is communicating. It doesn't matter whether it's in a, on a phone or in G, you know Google Hangouts or or in email. We're communicating. And that's what we're. That's what's important. That's what we do as humans is communicate stuff. So, I'm all good with this. And and if I can meet you face to face and shake your hand or whatever, that's great too. But um, this this works. One of the relationships that that you know you form in this way actually um, are as real as any other relationships. For for example, my kids know who Zach is, and they never met him before. They hear me talk about noise professor, and you know hear me talk about DS one hundred six and um, they they haven't met uh, uh, Todd or, or Andy yet, but there's lots of other people who they've never met, who I've never met, who they know are important uh, to to at least my personal uh, learning network, as some folks like to call it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think these relationships can be just as real and it's just as productive and interesting and intense as as face-to-face uh, -face relationships. So, did, uh, does anyone in this room have any uh, comments or feedback for these folks? Anything yeah. that comes to mind? What do we got going on? Little kids. Yeah. It's a little kid cast. Well, hey, yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah. link I just put there in the um, chat window is a. Uh, a, a video I did the other day trying to tell the story of my kid and her her communication in this thing called the online environment and um, it's 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 a good four and a half four point twelve sec four minutes twelve seconds of um, kind of what how how somebody younger than me uses tools to communicate and create uh, on the thing called the internet. Thank you, Todd. I think we're, uh, we'll we'll watch that uh, as as we move through the day. I want to thank you all so much. Uh, you're welcome. There's hangouts that's scheduled at other times as well. You're welcome to jump in whenever. Uh, 
and I thank you so much, and I think that everyone in the room thank you so much. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Um, yeah, well, I'll see you on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Thank you. Thank you.